Welcome to the second session of the Marketing Management Module. In this session, we will be looking and analyzing the marketing environment. We would learn how to use the SWOT uh, analysis to identify the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and, tr and threats related to your business. And finally, identifying the main opportunities and issues of a business. Let's start by identifying what a marketing environment is. A marketing environment is all of the factors that influence the ability of a business to satisfy its customer needs. It is very clear that a business or a firm and customers do not exist independently, but they are affected by many factors, including economic, political, social, cultural, and competitive factors. All of these factors have a direct or indirect effect on the business and the customers. It can be a positive effect that helps the firm to better meet its customer needs. On the contrary, it can be a negative one that makes customers unsatisfied with the products and services of your business. The factors that influence the ability of a firm to satisfy its customer needs are called the marketing environment. The analysis of a marketing environment will help you to identify the opportunities as well as the threats to the satisfaction of your customer's needs. Based on this, we can develop the brand positioning and marketing mix strategy to maximize the opportunities and minimize the possible risk that exists within the space you want to target. Now let's move very quickly to the micro uh, marketing environment and some of those things uh, within that environment include um, your competitors, your suppliers, uh, the middlemen, the public um, in itself. Now the suppliers who are part of the value chain or part of the chain that supplies you those materials that you need to be able to get the finished good or service to your customers. Your competitors, of course, those that have the substitute to the product or service which you have. And of course, the middlemen who are part of those people that could be the, uh, the break between yourself and your customer. It's important to know all of this uh, micro marketing environment factors that could affect your business. You need to also look at the macro marketing environment and of course those factors uh, or the external factors if you like that can affect um, you as a business. The first one is nature. You can't control nature and those things around nature, uh, flooding, um, and all of those elements of nature can really affect you and they are outside of your control. Technology can, as, as you know, technology is constantly evolving. Um, economics, demographics, the social and cultural factors, and of course uh, politics and legal, these are all of those external factors um, that could affect your marketing activities. Now let's look at competitors as one of the as part of the marketing environment. It is necessary to know who the main competitors are. Main competitors are brands and businesses that have the same target audience or customers as you and meet some of the same demands as your business. Therefore, in many cases, main competitors does not always mean products of the same product line. It could be or it is that which is competing for the, uh, for the purchasing power of your target audience. When analyzing competitors, you should also address similar issues as when you analyze your own business, as we had discussed previously. When analyzing competitors, you should also address similar issues as when you analyze your own business. Now let's go to the customer. The two main kinds of customers are the individual and the corporate. You need to study customer needs and behavior based on these two segments. Now, if you look at the customer segment, 
you have a profile who they are where they live what they do what are their living styles and all of this their habits regarding use of your product the purposes the frequency of their purchase and using the place where they purchase and at what time they purchase you must also look at other factors that could influence their purchasing or making their decisions such as their friends family medium of ad advertisement companies should know these factors in order to better meet customer needs it's important that you understand all of these factors in order for you to be able to meet your customer needs at every time now if you look at the company there are the profile which you create for the cost for the corporate segment and what you need to look at for the corporate segment include the following the company size the industry type the location the systems and policies of those corporates the impact of the environment you must evaluate the development trends in customer demand as well now let's take a moment to reflect on what you should do when the environment changes I'm going to use an illustration some years ago rumors spread about deaths of kids who consumed a popular noodles brand here in Nigeria and this led to the decline in the sales and consumption of that product one way through which the affected company handled this was to get prominent figures like the director general of NAFDAQ, the then wife of the Lagos state governor and other prominent figures to publicly eat the product and had it published in the newspapers and other news media. This helped reassure people of the safety of the products and regain customer confidence. However, it is not always possible to change the environment. The most common way for the firm to react to a change is to adapt to the environment monitor and analyze the marketing environment develop a strategy to adapt to the environment to avoid the threats take advantage of the opportunities therein in in this circumstance now let's look at the SWOT tool the SWOT collects all internal strengths and weaknesses in your business as well as opportunities and threats caused by the external environment on your business so I'll take that again so that it is clearer to you. The opportunities and threats are those external environmental factors, while your strengths and weaknesses are all of those environmental factors inside your business. So which is the best opportunity for the firm? The best opportunities definitely are those that match your strength you must find an opportunity that can take your business to the next level you concentrate your resources on that opportunity to generate profit for your business and at the same time identifying what the threats are so let's look at an example the number of women who go to work is increasing and that opens a potential market for processed food in order to save time of cooking with a network of 13 supermarkets around the city that are very convenient for women to visit wherever they live, Food Partners has focused on processed food, clean, mixed with spices, and packed in boxes ready to cook for these customers. What threats need to be dealt with first? It's important to look at the weak points within your business. And improve upon those weak points in order for you to be able to cope with the external threats i'll use another example to reinforce this point the shop and carry company recognized that customers only use power stabilizers when the power supply has low voltage and is unstable when the power system improves then the demand for its power stabilizers will decrease that is why it could face many difficulties if it continues to rely on the power stabilizer product the company therefore decided to invest in new products like power cables that are suitable with customers demands even when the power system is stable when a very good opportunity is identified 
But the business cannot take advantage of it. The business should consider whether to concentrate its effort to build up the necessary internal conditions or to set up a joint venture to take advantage of the opportunity. Let's look at an example. One company that provides transportation services discovered that customers are willing to pay 20 to 30 percent more provided that they receive a better service. A better service meant better ticketing arrangements, onboard services, stopover services, and on-time delivery. The company coach fleet consists of modern vehicles. However, the attitude of its staff is not good and it cannot control the service at stopovers. The company decides to increase the fare and one, train existing employees and hire new employees with positive attitude to coordinate with other companies to set up exclusive stopovers for their vehicles. This was the partnership arrangement. And where does creativity come in all of this? Let's look at another example of a business that can even develop a strategy to turn threats into opportunities. During the bird flu epidemic in 2006, while the customers had the fear of eating chickens, one company that exclusively raised and supplied poultry in Ibadan went bankrupt. While Otta Poultry, with its chicken brand Seven Star, increased sales from 3,000 chickens a day to 12,000 chickens a day. Why did this happen? It is clear that Seven Star, with its brand, a trusted brand, well known to people, they were more comfortable buying chicken from Seven Star. So a lot of the customers that were going to uh, the supplier in Ibadan, for example, that had no brand, had nothing around it, decided to leave that business and all focused on Seven Star. And basically, this is the kind of thing that you can look at as an example in turning a threat into an opportunity. In summary, the SWOT helps to find out the best opportunities that the firm can take and issues that firms need to solve. After using SWOT analysis, there might be some opportunities and issues that need to be considered. However, the responsibility of the business owner is to select and prioritize which to deal with first. We have now reached the end of session two. Please complete your session two activity.